Welcome to another Advent of Code walkthrough video. Today we'll be going over 2022 Day 6. So this one's called Tuning Trouble. Um, as you move through the dense undergrowth, one of the elves gives you a handheld device. Uh, important one to set up right now is the communication system. Uh, it's somewhat malfunctioning. To be able to communicate, you have to lock onto the signal. Okay, so this part is all flavor text. You only really need to start from here. So to fix it, you need to find uh, add a subroutine that detects a start of packet marker. And it is a sequence of four characters that are all different. So let's say we have this data stream buffer. So within the first three characters, you can't know if there's a start of packet or not because there aren't enough characters. After four, the J is repeated, so this is not a valid marker. JPJP JP is also not valid because the J and P are both, sorry, JQJP is not valid because the J is repeated. Here the Q is repeated and GPQM are all distinct. So the first position where you have a start of packet is at index seven. So what is the first position at which the uh, you detect the first packet start marker? So let's grab our puzzle input. So for this one, um, line equals input, for x in range 4 to length of line, um, we can print x for uh, print line from x minus 4 to x for now. So what this does, um, so recall that the first index that we could have a packet start marker is at position 4. So we want to go from position 1 up to that. Of course, since this is Python, we need to zero index, so it's actually zero up to that minus 1. But because list slicing um, is exclusive on the end side, this works perfectly fine. So we start x equal to 4, so this starts at 0 to 4, which gives us the first four characters. So we run this just on the test. We see that we get all of our sequences of four consecutive characters. So in order to check if this is unique or not, the easiest way to do this is to just turn it into a set. Sets cannot have duplicate values, so this will automatically deduplicate. So if all four are unique, then the length of this set will be four. If there are any duplicates, the length will be less than four. Once we detect a sequence of unique characters, we can just print X and break. Now, I wasn't sure if this would give me off by one errors, so I ran it on both the test and the real input. And it gave seven for the test output, so I know that it's not off by one. So I submit one, five, four, two, which is the correct answer. For part two, start of message marker is just like a start of packet, but it consists of 14 characters. So how many characters need to be? So it's literally this exact same problem, but you change the four to 14. Nineteen, and the real output is three, one, five, three. So today's challenge was honestly comparably very easy. Um, this, to be fair, is expected because it is a Monday night problem and weekday problems are generally easier than weekend problems. So that is all there is for this video. Um, I hope you learned something and enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow for day seven.